Welcome to week four. The delivery that I mentioned has arrived. I'm gonna go and get it now. It's Tuesday, by the way. Using my trusty cart. This was a wheelbarrow, but um, Stephen had made a top for it because it had all rotted and rusted and there was, well, there was no top. So we've got the bottom and he's attached this and it's miles better for the garden. So I found a company called Garden Naturally online and after I found it, I actually heard it mentioned by Charles Dowden. So you know how I like Charles Dowden's videos, uh, YouTube videos that is. So it's got to be a good company. Anyway, look at the size of this. What could it be? Let me show you. So the only thing is it's actually arrived with a hole in it. I'm going to get it open and I'm going to show you what's in it. larger box than needed but I've got some use for that this area here has obviously been demolished by the lambs and I am so lucky because my lovely mum has given me um, gifted me some plants that she obviously knew what had happened by the lambs and she was devastated for me she knew how uh, how um, the hard work that I put into it and, and how much it upset me to uh, to have the destruction um, that we did. So the fantastic news is that we've got a load more um, brassicas and different plants up at the top that are safely covered up at the moment um, and we're going to get them put in here but not until I've put this up and we've got some security from the birds at least at the moment. Um, hopefully the lambs won't be a problem. They haven't managed to get in today since we put this fence up last night um, so hopefully they will stay out but even if they do get in, which is very unlikely, they will have to contend with the new tunnel that I've bought to get put up here. So we'll see, we'll see what it's like. So these here are the, um, the inserts that you put into the ground. I don't know the technical name. And then your hoops that have the green bendy hoopy things go into here. So I wanna get all these placed first um and then see how we get on i think it's six meters no four meters i can't remember I'll have to check. i didn't want to get more than one because i didn't know if it would be any good to be honest so this is a trial and if it is then we might get more moving forward we'll see all right so i'm going to get these put in and i'm going to get the hoops put in see what it looks like That's awesome, really good, super easy to put together. I'm very pleased with that. The um, the green mesh, um, I think it's soft butterfly netting if i remember rightly as to what it was called but yeah this this was really good so i'm pleased with this um no not the cheapest but looking at the reviews it was fantastic um fantastically reviewed so i'm good with that and all we've done is just use the usual stones bricks that we've got that we've dug out of the ground when we've been working in this um to keep this down now it also has little green clips on each of the that comes that you just put over on the middle. So all we'll do, um, excuse me sniffing, is move a stone, fold it back halfway, and then plant in it all the way along. I'm not gonna do that right now because I wanna get these weeds here hoed down and the cardboard that ca that this came in, I wanna put that over the weeds and get some uh, muck on that just, just to suppress those a little bit. Or do I? Hmm. I was thinking was that the other day, there he goes. That on this bit here, with all those weeds, I wanted to get it mulched. So I just got a little bit excited when I had to spare cardboard. <laughs> so I think what I'll do is I'm just going to hoe it now, see what it turns out like. So there's the before. Whew. 
out of puff now. There you go. Done. So the weeds I've just taken out, popped on the side there whilst I was working. I'm going to get all those cleared up now. Put them on the compost, which is just at the back and Stephen has covered um, with some tin sheeting or whatever it is. Uh, just to, so it doesn't get too wet, too dry, whatever. I don't know. Anyway, so this bit is all de-weeded and we have got a thick layer of mulch on. There's mu it's thicker at the end where the fork is and it's thinner up this end because there was less weeds here. Having said that, it definitely needs more. Um, so this was just to get me away tonight. So I've not done any more in this bit here. It's getting on. It's like, I don't know, it's, it's well after nine o'clock now. That's what he thinks of that. Sonic. Okay, so I'm gonna get these weeds clear, uh, cleared away onto the compost. Um, and then I'm just going to generally get tidied up. There was some netting down here, plant pots, things like that. Get all the tools put together um, and get tidied up so the next time I come down here, I don't have to tidy to start off with. Really pleased with that for tonight though. That's looking great. So tomorrow, I'm going to be able to get those plants down here that my mum bought me and we can get planted up. Look at the size of that tummy. We feel your pain. So these are the surprise that are gonna go in here. So I'm ever so pleased that we've got some plug plants or some starts, whatever you wanna call them, that we can replace in the new secure place where we lost all of those brassicas. Rest in peace, brassicas. And yeah, gonna get these in now. Um, I've got a dibber, but I can't remember where I put it. It's, it's like a, an old fork handle that I used to, to put in the ground. Anyway, I don't have time to look for it. I need to just get on. So I'm going to get all of these in tonight. I'll show you what we've got as we go through and it shouldn't take too long. Quickly show you now, we've got some celery at the back here. They are, oh heck, I've lost the towel. Okay, so that's Stonehead cabbage and another cabbage, because we don't have enough cabbages. Evesham special sprouts all year round collie and this is that kind of leaf so I think that is some sort of broccoli maybe can't remember anyway all of these are going to get in so I'm going to start with the brassicas down that end so hopefully this should just peel back there we go I don't want to take too much off at a time and risk um, butterflies and things getting in but we should be okay at this time of night Right, so I'm thinking these guys might work, you know, these are the red cabbages. I'm going to take these slug damaged leaves off and just let this start again. Um, I did have three in, in total. I don't know whether to just do two now. That really wants to be over a little bit, maybe. What do you think? Two or three? Right, I'm going to go with two and I'm just going to move this in a little bit so that it's not out weeding at the same time. So all I'm going to do, excuse the train that's going to go past, is take off these leaves that are a little bit not as good, not going to benefit the plant. And just get them in. I'm going to plant them quite deep to give them a bit of stability. Now we go, we're off. There we go, we've got nine plants of each of the all year round cauliflower, cauliflower and the broccoli in. So you can see I've left a gap down the middle, which when I first planted this up, I didn't. 
but whether or not these will make it is yet to be seen the ones that are in the middle I did take a couple of out a couple of others out that I just know are just not going to make it so yeah there's cauliflower on this side broccoli on that side all the way down this is still looking good that the lambs didn't manage to get and I've also got I put a couple of tomatillos in here and a pepper just from when I planted up a couple of things that I had to hand and is that a weed? I can't remember. I think that's a pepper. Another pepper. Anyway, in this bit that's left, rectangle block, I'm going to get the celery planted. And then I'm going to put some more in this block here, which was what I did the other night. Right, let's get planting. This variety is Victoria. Never grown it before. I've never actually grown celery before. So all I'm going to do is take off the dead leaves, the same as with the brassicas, and just bury them um probably just to the the same depth that they're actually in now and try and fit them in this gap it says 30 centimeters between them when i've just googled it does this say matures in 100 days fruit size bountiful harvest there we go we've got um sprouts cabbage where are you cabbage so cabbage down that bit sprouts down it this bit i'm always tempted to put something down the middle but i know they just grow so big that i'm not going to do that i'm going to do it right celery um i don't know about 30 centimeters apart in a square so nine celery in there there's a few gaps here i'm not sure what i'm going to put in there i've got a couple of leftovers so i might just use that space for that actually <laughs> such an old lady Stephen's battling with the sheep, trying to keep them on the riverbank. And the cockerel's telling him it's his field. Got some company. Right, so this bed is done. I've just watered the tomatoes as well and the leeks that are in the boxes. This bed's done and I've put a net over those brassicas as well just until I get a new replacement, well not a replacement but a new one of these which won't be till next month so we'll just keep an eye on how well these grow and how much they push up. Some exciting news, we have a perfect courgette zucchini and in the jungle where did I see it can't see it now oh there it is we've got past it we've got a cucumber again I'd love to tell you what variety it is but um the labels it didn't work this month <laughs> Let me show you what's going on here. These can hear me talking. <laughs> Why are you talking to yourself, human? It's Saturday and it is early morning and my goodness me, it is so warm and sticky already. Um, it's only about 17, 18 degrees, what's 63 Fahrenheit, I think. Um, but it's due to thunderstorm today, so the skies, not that nice, but it's coming out sunny, um, little breaks in, the, in the, the overcast side of things. But it's just so hot, it's like, you know that way you feel like you can't really get enough air? <laughs> anyway. Um, so today is going to be outside as much as possible, loads of things I want to get done as always um, but because of the weather and because there's a risk that I'll end up inside um, or rained off later from doing stuff outside, obviously I can still do the greenhouse and the polytunnel but because of that 
I'm going to get a load of stuff harvested and because it's coming into that time of year where you just need to start harvesting and processing which is really exciting so I made that rhubarb and saffron jelly the other day which actually called for um, 200 ml of wine <laughs> which I was very surprised at so I had to go and buy some white wine because I never buy white wine um, but that's looking well I do seem to keep having the problem where I can't get my jelly hot enough because um, presumably of the, the equipment that we've got but anyway all that to say um loads of harvesting going on today stupidly haven't charged my camera sufficiently so i'm going to get as much done as i can with the battery that i've got and show you what we've got going on but there is elderflower blueberries courgettes peas oh there's there's loads i've wrote a list down there's about 10 things on it so of course can't remember them now that i have to say them but first of all um i'm just going to get the greenhouse opened up get some air in there as well oh onion top pesto how could i forget that so i've been watching acre homestead and becky on there made some onion top pesto so i'm going to do a separate video on that as well so i'll harvest some onion tops um because i got the oh my goodness um because i got the uh, ingredients in a click and collect last night um i've actually done a video on that it was just raining so heavily and we literally had to get out and uh, and get all of our shopping instead of going into the shop anyway again all that to say gonna get on <laughs> goose breeze goose breeze that was the other thing something that i find really useful is having an old bucket uh, it needs a bit of a clean out but filling it with water so that you can wash all your produce outside before you go in the house it's an absolute pain to take stuff in that's filthy or i mean i don't expect anything will be filthy today um but it just makes it so much easier for the cook i.e me to have it clean going in so i'm going to get this rinsed out and filled up and then it won't get wasted it'll water the plants once it's finished with the rain that we've just had these broad beans are taking a bit of a tumble so i'm just going to stand them up and give them a tiny bit of support on these canes that shouldn't usually need support and you can see there's plenty coming so some of the bigger ones i'll take in today from these guys in here and down there and i've also got more in the, in the patch over there the onions goodness me just look at the craziness of this bed okay so we can see these ones are starting to flower or trying to set flower so those will be the first to come out and these ones have fell over potentially because of the rain but um we'll get these out or at least some of them as well oh look is that just a really big dandelion yeah, it is. So there we go. <laughs> Plenty to be getting on with. I'm going to start with the beans and the sugar snap peas down here. You're going to have to excuse the ducks shouting their heads off. So all of these guys, these are actually sugar snaps, so you can eat them either as like munch too, so the flat ones, or when they're filled out. These will all go in the freezer. Some of these are really quite chunky, so I'm just going to try them because at this stage, hang on, let me turn it around. At this stage, um, you'll have to, where well, you're supposed to, not have to, just take the string off. Can't do this with one hand. I just want to make sure they're not too, that they haven't gone too far. Sorry. Mm. They're fab. Right. So what I'll do before I freeze them, I'll just pull the string off. So it is a bit labour intensive, um, but that's okay. I think it's clear what's going to be on the menu. Now, for the foreseeable. I mean, this is fantastic. I've already got quite a few already in the basket. Um, and I've, <laughs> yeah, the, the, the lot, place in the allotment that uh, everyone's got one. So I just wanted to say, the, the duck wanted to say too. She's so noisy. Shh. This is um, the medical corner. So these ducks aren't very well. They've got bad legs. So we bring them in here so that they can sort of be with me, have a nice little pond and their own little bit of food because essentially when they're out with everybody else, they don't get a look in if they're not very well. Anyway, um, so back to the sugar snap. The variety is sugar and pea. If anybody's interested, these were sown on the 13th of March. Um, they could have been put out sooner on a normal year, but this year is not a normal year. 
um, so these would have probably been ready even earlier normally, but I'm just really pleased and grateful that they are now. Um, what I wanted to say is that we've stopped harvesting the asparagus now, so that's going to set flower. It's already starting to rise up to flower. And these guys will replace that as a green, so eating seasonally. Um, last year we froze the asparagus and it was fantastic, but I've not done that this year. We've managed to pick quite a few strawberries. I need to do something about the strawberry bed because there's more mouldy than there is um, nice strawberries. We've got the pickings off one gooseberry bush, so there'll be a few more, but uh, my fingers are suffering enough from uh, from this what they call the thorns on them but that's a great harvest i've got some sage thyme the um volunteer garlic that was in those sugar snaps and i've been around and collected the courgettes so i'm going to go inside because i've got one percent battery left on my phone and i'm going to get some of these processed look what we've been gifted isn't this awesome i'm going to get a little umbrella for the middle I'm going to be able to sit out here, have my cup of tea, next to my veggie plot. Well chuffed with that. For free as well. Hence, gifted. <laughs> right. Um, it's, it's a strange day. It's been supposed to have been raining all, all day. Um, it hasn't rained yet, but we're still under, it's supposed to be like 100% chance now. I'm wondering if the heavens are going to open at any time. Who knows? Anyway, we're going to get a little bit done out here. We just had a really late lunch. Um, I've been doing all sorts of cooking in the kitchen and things. And I want to take a look in the greenhouse, get some stuff watered. Uh, because it's been really warm today. It's really muggy. <laughs> and um, see how we get on. Got to shout at us. They're over there somewhere. These tomatoes are coming on. Amazing. I'm so pleased with these guys. I'd keep the seeds because I can't remember what variety it is, but I'm pretty sure that it's an F1 based on knowing what I've bought, which I'm a bit disappointed about in myself, but never mind. More there, more of a salad tomato there. We've got some starting to ripen. Some more here starting to turn. Hopefully won't have no, that doesn't have end drop, but I think I just saw this one had split a little bit. That's fine, that'll still cook up just fine. Yeah, so the tomatoes are coming on well in this end. In the other end of the greenhouse, oh look, let's get you outside. In the other end of the greenhouse, it's just a jungle. I need to sort it out, it's a right mess. A couple of days of being down the bottom is uh, that left this unloved. So I'm going to try and work in here now with this. Um, it is quite hot in here. How, what's the temperature? 36.6. Look. Hiding behind there. Right, everything's looking really hot. Needing of a drink. The direct sun's not out, so I'm just going to try and water them at the base. We've got some really good ones at the back there. Wowzers. Cucumbers are coming along well. I'm gonna get some fridge pickles done. <laughs> wow, look at that. That's amazing. Right, I'm gonna stop talking and get on with it. Oh, we've got visitors. Hello, little chicks. You're scary. There's your mum, don't worry. I've watered all of the greenhouse and the two outside cold frames. Need to close that one now. And it, do you have a sense when it's gonna rain? And I don't mean because it's gone dark or anything like that, but there's just a strange noise. It's like the, the oh, I sound like some sort of strange person now. It's the, the trees and the, just the noise. You can just, I can sense the shift and I've come outside and you can just feel that any minute now the heavens are gonna open and it is going to rain and you know what looking up actually it is it's getting darker but do you know what i mean about that can you sense the shift in the weather is that just me have i been at home for too long <laughs> anyway so all of the peppers oh, I've got the light. all of the peppers are watered um we kept gooseberries i've got a few onions that are doing the best to rise up to flower 
and I need to sort, there's a few of the shallots actually that are also doing the same. So I watched an interesting video on that just recently um, and why they do that and things. So I, anyway, that, that's for a whole other video. But essentially what I'm going to do is they're onions that are trying to rise to flower. Instead of just keeping snapping them off and waiting for them to grow, I'm going to take them out and I'm going to use the um, onion tops for pesto. Um, to make an onion top pesto and then also obviously to harvest the bulbs as well any that aren't rising to flower some of them are just looking can I show you this one on yeah there it's just looking fantastic it's, it's so nice I don't want to eat it anyway um so yeah I'm going to get that done uh, I've also got another few outside jobs that I need to get done I need to pot on that tomato tree um as it was called I just want to show you a couple of things first these are just beautiful so it's just the fantastic these are the fingerling variety it was the the variety beginning with here that i couldn't remember last time either um this is the the bed that that the plants that needed saving from the slugs and uh, anything else that was getting them and then this bed let me turn you around it's going to be easier this bed was the school girl error bed that i made where i planted um <laughs> beans and had a net on at the same time but these guys here are just like pushing through this so much that you can see there's there is a bit of slug damage i would say is that caterpillars of slugs but i think it's time oh volunteer potato i always appreciate volunteers they seem to do better than the ones you tend for anyway i think it's time that this came off i can't see any cauliflowers in any of them yet but this bed's just looking so green and healthy and like I've said before, you can just eat the leaves. If nothing works, just eat the leaves. This is the onion bed I was just referring to that I need to weed next, actually. So this is a weed, but this is a row of carrots. And then there's chicory. My goodness, that is bitter. I'll learn to love it. More carrots. Kale. All sorts going on in here. So desperately needs weeding. These are the brambles. How much they've come on. Or the blackberries, sorry, if you don't know what I'm talking about. These need training. Making bids for freedom. Love it though. All those, all that fruit. On the comfrey, do you remember the comfrey that Grace and I chopped back and I said I'll never make a hairdresser? Well, apparently it's, it's found a wig pretty quickly because my goodness me, that has grown in like, what was it, two weeks? <laughs> That's just magic, that stuff, absolutely. Uh, these beans, I never got around to... To putting them up need to do that still but yeah i don't know if you can hear the wind on the camera but if you look everything's so still but the noise of the wind is as if it's really windy this will be tea tomorrow these are the red onions that i moved that i took that i uh, sowed myself some celery these are asparagus peas that need to go in oh there's the thunder the start of the thunder i love thunder really quickly then because it's starting to rain tea bed this forage wow look at all those nasturtiums and the bees look busy as a bee and the calendula leaves when i took them and i felt a bit guilty get the shed locked up first. <laughs> I told you it was going to rain. <laughs> oh man. it's Monday again excuse the wet hair it is what it is um, and I wanted to sign off this video by showing you something that I've just had delivered from eBay so I've been getting a few things off eBay lately where I've not started the um, seeds off myself or I've forgotten or I've found out about something after and it's too late um, I've been just picking them up from eBay and this is fantastic this is strawberry mint I'm gonna get those planted up I'm gonna do that now then I'm going to sit and video um, my July seeds essentially 
and I've just got what feels like hundreds so instead of trying to cram it all in this video I'm going to do a specific I'm going to do a specific video on what you can get in July on what you can grow in July it's slow in July as well um <laughs> this isn't going very well um and I'm going to do that separately so look out for that video it'll be coming out in the next couple of days but for tonight in the garden I'm going to get the strawberry mint put in I've already been out and harvested what we've just had for our main meal I saw we had some broad beans and we've got sugar snap peas new potatoes um I did just like a cassoulet is that how you pronounce it um with chicken I was going to do pork but we had some leftover chicken from the weekend because we ended up eating out and so I had chicken left over and I didn't want to waste it so I thought I'll go and grab a load of veg out of the garden um, and throw that together and it was really tasty uh, and really healthy so I'm pleased about that and next week what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is um, just just for a week because I'm not sure how much I will or won't be able to do this but I want to give it a shot for each day next week I'll show you the harvests that we're getting out of the garden as well and do kind of a, um, a daily harvest so you can see the type of things that we're harvesting at this time of the year um, the theme is going to be courgettes, broad beans, sugar snap peas. I'm spoiling it for you now, aren't I? Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this week. Uh, we've had more work done down the bottom, but that does mean that I think as you've seen, if I, I can't remember the clips that are in this, um, in this week's vlog, so, um, but it does mean that the top has been neglected somewhat. So I'm going to get a load of work done up at the top plot, which is just behind me here um, and in the greenhouse. So I'm being surrounded by chickens at the moment, you know how they like to be outside of the greenhouse. So I'm going to sit here and it, I thought it was warmer than it is, so I'm feeling a little bit chilly already. <laughs> but I'm going to do this seed video and get that done for everybody. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I'm loving doing them and I think it's going to be fantastic to look back on next year um, and see where we're at next year compared to this year. I mean this year has just been crazy weather-wise, hasn't it? But is that what it's going to be like now? Is that what we've got to adapt to? sure we'll wait and see thank you for watching there's some other videos going to pop up here that you might want to take a look at if you haven't already and you're interested in this uh, content then please do consider subscribing would really appreciate that remember we've got the gardening videos every tuesday and then there'll be canning videos every thursday not sure how long they're going to go on for the canning videos but the gardening videos will be all year round so we can see the garden grow for 52 weeks of the year there's also the small holding related content and just bits and pieces of everything loads of stuff coming up i'm really excited about doing this at the moment so please stick with us subscribe if you like this video please remember to give it a thumbs up and like and then we'll talk to you soon bye there we go then i've done my seed video it's like only 10 minutes long or something but it's such a whirlwind to it i don't think i took a breath <laughs> that's the strawberry mint planted up so i'm going to be using that for um summer time cocktails and herbal tea in the winter so I'm really looking forward to this growing this needs a water now so I've just I've just been in the shed and potted it up it's actually quite chilly out here now um it was so hot earlier on today but it, it's cooled down quite a lot so I'm gonna head in edit this video and get it out to you guys tomorrow and see where we go from there